it's funny you say that. I have a hot take, and that's after LeBron. LeBron was and still is, right, the first of his type that we had ever seen. But then I think there was a generation of players that grew up with LeBron and they imitated his game. And suddenly six, eight guys said, all right, I'm going to handle the ball. I'm going to yeah, uh, right. And, and he was the first of that type. Right. And I would argue that Trey young is the first in the Steph Curry. Bowl. Right. Okay. Right? right. He grew up. Steph Curry's 33. Yes. Trey's 22. Mm-hmm. So he, He's modeling he was game. 10 when Steph was doing the Davidson run, right. which we were all watching. Right. So he clearly, I would say he's the first pl- disciple of Steph Curry. Right. And I agree. Like I they play very similar. Yeah. The floater. I mean, the floater is amazing. Yeah. He is so good at that. And like the quickness that he, he, you know, a, a lot of people said he was going to suck coming out of the draft. Um, me being one of them, um, completely proved me wrong. He's mm-hmm. amazing. And will be in the NBA and uh, killing it for a 10 years. Fascinating topic to me is like predicting the scouting reports of who's going to be successful in the league and who's not. That's just a fascinating in kind of a crapshoot, too. But I wonder, like, do, are they using like advanced analytics? Yeah, they are for sure. But some of the, I mean, the bus, some of the busts are incredible. Those are probably the guys that like f- you've just fallen in love with, and like you trick your mind. You can't see beyond me, and like the problem I is, like, saw him like do that <laughs> crazy dunk, and look how big he yeah. is. And but like if you probably looked at the advanced analytics, to be like, hey, he's gonna be a normal guy. Marvin Bagley on the <laughs> Kings, like oh, he's whatever. He was amazing in college, but it's like yeah, he doesn't exist in today's mm-hmm. NBA. What are you saying, Mike? The problem with the analytics would be like. Let's say you're making some sort of machine learning. You define up front what's important, and then you make that into the system, and then it spits back out what you thought was important in the first place. That's so supervised like a, learning. It's like a big <laughs> supervised like a big learning. <laughs> well, maybe super. So, what if your outcome is points? Like that's a pretty universal outcome, right? Or PER. Like I don't know how it's calculated, but like clearly, it's an effective metric to reflect who a great player is. So I, I would counter this with, I don't want to get into the details, but like in unsupervised learning and machine learning, what you can do is you are essentially mapping people according to certain stats. And if you see someone is right next to LeBron and Kevin Durant, then you're like, okay, yeah. that, that's, that's an important metric, right? Like we see all this all the time that people say like some stat of Luca's and he's in a cohort of like, Kevin Durant, KG, LeBron, and Jordan, you're like, that, that That says something to me. Yeah. You know? But I would agree. Like, I would love to talk to, like, an advanced analytics person that – could you – do you think, like, Boston Celtics have, like, like someone from the dark side that they're just like, hey, instead of, instead of doing ransomware, you want to come for us and, like, come up with a machine learning algorithm oh, to yeah. they've definitely that's all fine. done that for sure I, I, absolutely we talked about this and that guy's probably online. making 200 and he's probably bringing in millions to the franchise what's it based on i would stats, like to think? know what the salary mm-hmm. would be for that guy yeah because you you could argue his value added is to the franchise more is, than anybody's is, yeah. is what the playoff run brings in mm-hmm. what like the yeah TV viewership rings. But there's in, always the intangibles in sports right like what's the guys I, I, what's the gentleman's name that plays for he got drafted first or second by the 76ers from Washington and then he went to the Orlando Magic. Oh, Markel Fultz? Yes. Yeah. I mean, do you remember that whole like what was it called the yip? He like couldn't he, he can't yeah, he he and went he, from like 40% three-point shooter to then cannot shoot. He was someone who the advanced analytics would say this guy is the next Jordan and he just he got space speaking of space jam he got his talents just yeah. So he woke up gross. one day and just could you imagine? He's not soaking enough. What is <laughs> now? What is that? Because that happens to a lot of yes. baseball players. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden you have to like do some other I, yeah. way of I have a take doing on what that. you've done a million times. I think it, I think it's your conscious is suddenly trying to do what your subconscious did for so long. Oh. Like, think of all the things you do in a day and you don't even think about. Mm-hmm. Like, let's take pickleball. I'll like, say, let's take pickleball. <laughs> if you mm-hmm. suddenly start thinking like, okay, what angle am I holding this at? Right? Like, 
how far am I winding? Then you suddenly take away, and I think that's the yips. Yeah. So so then I think that's a good. Do like when do coaches get in the way? Do coaches come in and try to do too much and say, if you only did this, or if you change this, like, or if you're a shooting coach said, hey, if you pull back in this way, you'll create a little more yeah, space. It's probably what's going on with Ben Simmons. You know, like it's like too much coaching. I, I would I would argue that yeah, there's diminishing returns for coaching the older you get, and that that should that conversation should have happened. But AAU ball ruins player development. Right. If that conversation happened at age 12, mm-hmm. Ben Simmons would be putting 35 up at night. When you're 25 years old and try to reinvent the wheel, it's tough. Jazz age living, old fashioned sipping, pizzazz ain't missing, got the fat cats kissing the top. Bring the old age back. Awake, grandpa from his nap, we bring it.